Hey subscribers and watchers, what's up? It's me, Vivs here from Slide Note. Today, I'm going to talk about a material design checklist about something which one of our subscribers, Anshul Verma, had mentioned somewhere in the comments of the previous video. It was about the navigation drawer. And if you go down here, and if you take a look at the navigation drawer, it, it says if the app uses a navigation drawer, it follows the newer material interactions. The drawer appears in front of the app bar. It also appears semi-transparent behind the status bar. And this is exactly what the subscriber had pointed me in my comments earlier. If you take a look here, there's the status bar and look at how this image is appearing right under the status bar when the drawer layout is popping on. In other words, the way you understand this is simple. There is your content here, which is your blue color screen that you see. On top of that, there's your navigation drawer, which is opening and closing. And on top of that is your status bar, which is partly transparent. And we are going to see how to do this. And if you see further below, they say there is a solution here on Stack Overflow. If you go to this link, there are two solutions that have been suggested. Now, one of the solutions is by this guy named Chris Baines on Stack Overflow, where he says that you can have the toolbar, you can have the drawer layouts, fit system windows. Now, I'll talk about this attribute right in this video as we go further because we are going to need this. But other than that, it's basically editing the XML of your drawer layout to make sure that it can draw under the status bar and at the same time making the status bar kind of transparent by saying android color transparent here for the status bar color and then editing that now i tried this solution and it did not work for me if it works for you be sure to let me know in the comments how you did it because for once i would love to learn from you guys out there and i always believe that you are the experts and i'm the noob over here so now the other solution that they have talked about is to use a scrim insert frame layout now this is basically a very advanced solution and i don't like it personally because it you have to extend a frame layout here you have to make your own frame layout now this frame layout is going to be going to receive events when the status bar window or the content inserts change and stuff like that now inside that you're going to use that event you're going to take the boundaries of the change and you're going to draw your content inside the on draw in the inside the draw method above below the status bar now this is a pretty complex solution and i would love to make a video on this but at this point if i make it i'll have to go into a lot of things like how to make a custom view group and what are these attributes because in my playlist i have never talked about custom views before and hence i cannot directly jump to this code over here therefore i'm going to delay this till the end of the material design playlist and depending on your request i will make it if you guys like it now at the same time i have Found another solution which I'm going to use in this video. Now, this solution that you see in the second case is the ultimate one that would work. And in the first case, this solution does not, does not work for me. I don't know about you. But the third solution that I'm going to talk about in this video is going to have the same effect without writing all this custom layouts and stuff. But you won't be able to change the status bar color. Now, let's take a look at how we can do that. So, the first thing that you got to understand here at the top, what you have is the status bar. At the bottom, what you have is the navigation bar, which is not shown over here. Navigation bar is basically your back button, your home icon, and your other icon, menu icon, mostly in other devices that you have at the bottom. And the activity window itself is over here, which you see in the diagram. Now, this is the area where your activity is going to perform all types of drawing. But these little windows that you have, or these little views that you can call it, the status bar and the navigation bar they all take up some space which is represented by what you call as content insets inside your window that you have for your activity now at this point if you take a look at our app in the lollipop and the pre lollipop version here this is how the lollipop one looks with the colored status bar and this is how the normal one looks now we want the status bar to be kind of translucent and have the content of the navigation drawer go a bit under this status bar that we have so as for the third solution that I was talking about the first thing I'm gonna do is make this status bar translucent now remember once you make it translucent you cannot set a color for the status bar which is why I said that my solution is kind of a simple way to do it but it's not the complete perfect way to do it now if you go here this is the attribute that we are talking about window translucent status now it says a flag indicating whether this window requests a translucent behavior now notice it says added in api level 19 which means you cannot do it in the older versions out there now of course we have to set this either to true or false the first thing that we are going to do is go all the way to our styles 21.xml the one place where we can do things and we are going to set these window translucent status bar now as soon as i write that take a look at what happens this is lollipop 
and this is our older one which is not even API 19 it's probably jelly bean so here if you see the translucent status bar is there and the action bar has been pushed up right under the translucent status bar and like I mentioned on the older device nothing happens because there is no attribute window translucent status for the older devices out there now we don't want this this looks dirty or bad or whatever you call it we what we want to do is ensure that this action bar gets pushed down to an appropriate amount and that can be done with the attribute called fit system windows now let's take a look at that so here if you see the documentation of this method fit system windows it says a boolean internal attribute to adjust the view layout based on system windows such as status bar so it's talking about the status bars presence over here and it says what happens it says if it is true then it's going to adjust the padding of this view to leave space for the system windows in other words if you go down back here and if you go inside our layout file which is our activity underscore main.xml here if you apply the fit system windows equals to true let's take a look at what happens now at this point if you take our app out here the pre lollipop and the lollipop one and if you open the drawer you will see that the action bar has been pushed down and now the status bar looks black the truth is it is still translucent but there is nothing behind the status bar because the action bar has been pushed down since you said fit system windows for your entire drawer layout making sure that the extra padding was added to your drawer layout over here now to ensure that we are actually able to see this effect happen what i'm going to do is add an image inside my navigation drawer in other words i'll simply go to my fragment navigation drawer and i'm going to add an image view over here of course the width for the image view is going to be 280 dp which is basically my drawer width of course i should put it inside a diamonds.xml file but right now i'm being too lazy about it the next thing is the height which is going to be 140 dp in my case because that's the size of the image which i have taken and other than that i'm going to give the source of the image which is going to be source at the rate drawable and it's going to be an abstract image which i have taken out there now i need to tell you one thing that the image is placed inside the drawable general folder where abstract.png i should be ideally creating four different sizes of this image for hdpi mdpi and so on but i haven't done it here because i'm just trying to explain a simple example and this image is added here now what i want to do other than that is to set a background color for my fragment drawer out here which is going to perfectly match with this image which i have applied over here and we are going to see whether this image appears under the status bar or not as we proceed the color that i have applied to the background for the navigation drawer is fb8c00 i shouldn't be hard coding it here i should put this inside a colors.xml and probably call it navigation drawer background color something like that but now what i'm going to do is going to make some changes to the code of our xml file inside our main instead of applying it to the complete drawer layout which is this entire thing that you see here what i want to do is something like this i want this as you can see over here this is the relative layout this is the block that we have and this is the fragment if you maximize this and minimize this image you'll be able to see it clearly so this is the fragment and this is the relative layout what i want is this toolbar to be pushed down below the status bar for our relative layout but i want the fragment to start all the way from the top that means including the content of area of the status bar and therefore i'm going to put fit system windows attribute on the relative layout over here and I'm going to call it true. Now this, what it's going to do is simply going to push the content or add the extra padding to your main activity here or this relative layout here. But it's not going to add any padding over here for the fragment because I haven't specified it. In other words, this is going to go down. This is going to start all the way from the top. Let's take a look at that by running it. So at this point, our app has started. This is the lollipop one on the right side. The left one is the normal one. If you open it, bingo. Take a look at that. That is our translucent status bar. That we are talking about the only disadvantage of this method is that i will not be able to change the color of the status bar because it's translucent and if you do want to change the color you'll have to use the scrim layout that i was talking about now of course let me add some extra padding for this image at the top and make it look good you can go here to the navigation drawer specs and you guys can see what kind of vertical spacing you should use this 24 dp at number one here which is nothing but the space status bar space that you should be allocating at the top over here and of course it's a 56 dp over here for this 
text part which I'm not having in my app currently. Other than that, there is 3 and 3 which is nothing but 8 and 8, 16 dp added over here at the bottom. Other than that, there are the other things coming down over here. So let's go inside our fragment navigation drawer for the image view here. I'm going to simply add a margin top over here. So I have added a margin top of 24 dp at the top to separate the status bar. Now this is not going to be needed in a normal API, in the normal pre lollipop device. And of course, there's a margin bottom of 16 dp, which is basically nothing but this 3 and 3 I have added here because I don't, I'm not using any text in my image below it. So I'm going to directly add these two, two at the bottom over there. Now let's take a look at what happens if we run this and see our layout in action. So at this point, if you run the app, if you open our lollipop preview, there you go. There's the status bar 24 dp appended on top of it, and there's the image. And here, if you see the pre lollipop device, this is what you get. Now, as you can notice clearly, this is uneven in both the devices. We can fix this with two different diamonds.xml file if you want. So I'm going to fix this by having two separate diamonds.xml files where the margin top is going to differ for this. So you can go here to your values. I'm simply going to make a new diamonds file here, values resource file. I'll call it diamonds.xml. And I'm going to go down all the way to select the version here. I'm going to add it, version qualifier 21. Click OK. No, I don't want to add it to Git for now. I just want to go here. And I want to say diamond and I'll call it margin underscore top. So for a V21, what I want to do is add 48 dp over here for the margin top. And or I can call it very specifically now for I can call it image view margin top or navigation drawer image margin top, whatever I want for now. I'll just call it margin top for now. And I'll go to diamonds.xml and I'll have the same attribute here. And I'm going to give it a different value. I can just go here, margin top, and call it 24 dp this time. And all I got to do is go down to fragment navigation drawer and instead of writing 24 here hard coding I'll simply say diamond underscore margin underscore top now at this point it should give me the right margin depending on the device Let's take a look at that So at this point if you run the app bingo our trick worked take a look at that the navigation drawer is uniformly spaced in both the pre lollipop and the lollipop versions And it also has a translucent navigation drawer at the top now status bar at the top now, I need to tell you that this is not the perfect solution. As I told you, you can't color the status bar here, which is supposed to be primary color dark as per the material design specifications, but that would involve using the string frame layout, which I'm going to delay till the material design stuff is over because that's going to have a lot of explanation to do out here. So if you guys think you have a better solution because I didn't find any at the time of making this video, do let me know in the comments below because I would love to hear from what you guys think is the best way to do this in the meantime if you like what you saw please like this video share this video subscribe to slide nerd and let us know your thoughts in the comment box below thanks for watching i'll catch you guys in the next video have a nice day